Hello and welcome to the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host of the program, and today is Monday, May 14th. Mother's Day weekend we just passed. If you were able to spend with a mom, uh, whether you're a mom or, you have a, or you're a mom figure in somebody's life or whatever the case may be, hope you had a, a lovely day spending that or whatever you did because it was about the best kind of weather in my book anyway that we can possibly have for a uh, beautiful May weekend. So hope you had a great one and we are certainly glad you're here with us for this week for Owatonna Today, whether you're watching us on cable TV, Charter Channel 8 in the Owatonna area, or you found us out on the internet. We're on Facebook. You can find us through Google. If you just Google Owatonna Today Show, uh, YouTube will pop up, and I think Blip TV still is out there too, so a lot of ways to watch the Owatonna Today Show. And please uh, send us your information. We pass along a lot of event activities that are going on uh, at the end of our program each, each day. And we also look to you for sometimes guest ideas and show topics. So take note of our email address and cell phone number on the screen throughout the course of the program. We were out on location, and so that's our program for this uh, Monday. We uh, headed out to visit with Dr. Beth Giltfed at Horizon Eye Care, and we're going to be talking some sunglasses um, with her a little bit later on in the program. And I'm not sure, maybe I have this switched around. Which comes first, Leanne? Dr. We, Dr. Beth is first, okay, just to make sure. And then later on, uh, we had the opportunity to go to the Owatonna Education Association Spring Banquet and meet the retirees. So we'll take this supporter break, and then we'll head out to visit with Dr. Beth. Please stay with us. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. Recreational fires are allowed within the Oatana city limits. They must be contained within a fire pit or a device designed for such use and can be three feet in diameter and no more than three feet high. They must be 25 feet from a building or combustibles. Only untreated or unpainted woods must be used. Fires must be attended by a person at all times that are capable of extinguishing the fire. This has been a safety tip from the Oatana Fire Department. Hi, we're Mark and Becky Stevens of the Oatana Pizza Ranch. And we support the Oatana Today Show. Hi, this is Dave Efforts. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us out on location for the Owatonna Today Show. We are, of course, with one of our show supporters, Dr. Beth Gil Giltbet. And, and I'm going <laughs> to ruin your name right from the beginning. I'm so sorry, Beth. Dr. Beth is just <laughs> fine. That's all anybody knows. Our, I that know spelling it's a problem, but saying it is not usually an issue for me. Horizon Eye Care Professionals, right. of course, located right here in downtown Owatonna. Again, refresh people with your address. Our address is 118 North Oak, right... Uh, near the intersection of Vine and Oak Avenue. Can't miss them, probably been by a whole lot of times. We definitely want to take an opportunity this time of year, and you actually have signage out front saying right. there's a sunglass sale. Absolutely. Before we get into talking about some of the many and varied styles, there's no reason to be without sunglasses as far as I'm concerned. Let's talk about the reasons for having them and needing them, how important it is. Oh, I think wearing sunglasses is very, very important for all ages. Um, sunglasses do protect your eyes from ultraviolet radiation and studies are showing us more and more that ultraviolet radiation is damaging to the eyes in, in the long run uh, the same way the sun can be damaging to your skin. So we really do want people to protect their eyes from the sun uh, ultraviolet rays with a good quality pair of sunglasses that don't cause headaches and that give really great high definition vision. I think that's very important. The studies now are showing that uh, the long term exposure from you know, early on, mm -hmm. early ages, so we recommend children uh, oh, have sunglasses absolutely. as well, but that that uh, early exposure and that long, many years of exposure of, to ultraviolet radiation um, will trigger cataract formation at an older age, as well as something a lot of people are concerned about, and that's called macular degeneration. And macular degeneration right now has no real cure, uh, mm -hmm. so we really have to look at the prevention aspects. And wearing sunglasses is one of the prevention um, And there's some correlation then between the long-term uh, exposure and macular degeneration and that is a scary one because that's, that's a loss scary. of sight. That's a loss of sight right in your central vision. Mm -hmm. um, macular degeneration uh, causes problems with things like reading and driving vision. Mm -hmm. um, the only good thing about macular degeneration is it doesn't make you go dark blind mm -hmm. um, as some other eye diseases such as glaucoma can do but uh, macular degeneration shouldn't be inevitable if people take care of their eyes. Okay and that's a, a great point to underscore overall taking care of your eyes is 
so important from an early age on. And let's just mention that before we get into the sunglasses. How early do you recommend that people bring children in? Well, we start children at age six months. Okay. And we have a program that is uh, an assessment for six to, to 12 month old babies that is uh, not an exam. It is just a vision is, or an eye assessment. Mm -hmm. um, and it's called infancy. And there's no charge for that. Uh, we do a certain number every year. And it's sponsored through our National American um, Optometric Association. Wonderful. And we've done the training. And we are um, accredited members of the American Optometric Association. So we participate in the program program called Infant C, S-E-E. -E. Okay. Uh, the next time that we want to usually see children, if there's no other issue, is about at age three okay. for their first real eye examination. Um, after that, we kind of make a recommendation based on what we find. But I think having children uh, seen before they start kindergarten mm -hmm. is really, really a good idea because uh, up until third grade, children have to um, be able to see, to learn, see to learn, and they're learning to read. And after third grade, of course, they begin reading to learn. So those are two different um, kind of aspects. But we do recommend children coming in before kindergarten. Very, or at least very important. So remember that now as we're hitting the summer and maybe you have Maybe right. you have a young one coming into right. kindergarten and you have not yet done it, but you want to do that. And we should stress that it's wonderful that our school system does screenings, do screenings. but that is what they are. They're screenings. They're screenings. It's a very basic level that right. they might catch or maybe something right. a little more serious. And right. so we want to make sure that our children are learning the best they can. And seeing to and learn. And seeing to learn, That's exactly. Well, sunglasses, as yes. we mentioned, are very important this time of year. Starting them off at a young age, and you have styles here that are for the littlest all the yeah. way on up. And we want to talk about yep. some of the various options. Mm -hmm. Someone might say, well, I'm I do, I do have a lot of athletic things, or mm -hmm. here are my needs, here's what mm -hmm. I need them for. I don't need them all the time, or I do need them for this, or I do need them for that. Let's talk about the many options. Well, there are a lot of options. One is a lot of people enjoy wearing a sun clip, and these will be on sale. By the way, our sale begins on Tuesday, May 15th. Perfect. And runs, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the 17th, will be our final day. Okay. And we are open until 7 on Thursday evening, so that will be the end of the sale. But sun clips that clip right on the glasses are something that a lot of people really enjoy wearing. Another thing that people really enjoy uh, when they wear glasses many times yep. is the cocoons or the fit overs. And these are really nice because they give you, Deb, the, uh, the, the coverage even from the even top. Up above. Even up okay. above. So they, but they do sit right over the glasses. Okay. And many people enjoy that. So, so if there's a preference that somebody says, I love my glasses, I don't want to give up my glasses, I don't want to be switching right. glasses, these are two really good Those opportunities, either options. for the ones, and we should mm -hmm. mention that for, j I think it looks like for just about any shape of glasses. Right. There's some ovals, rectangulars, kind of round, mm -hmm. just about to fit probably any style of any glasses style of usually. Glasses. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And then these are a really good style. option as well. So they just the pop cocoons, them on over. Cocoons or fit overs. Okay. Now some of our, our sunglasses that are designed uh, for people who wear contacts or maybe don't even uh, wear glasses at all. We have, uh, these are awesome uh, Costa Del Mar glasses. These have a lifetime warranty. They are particularly good for boaters. Polarization is part of it. Uh, many of them have this oh, one sure. has what's called a blue flash. Mm -hmm. um, now we've got another one up here that's a belay that's got a... Leanne like um, those. She wants to go flashy. Yeah, this is a, a more of a, a bright orange flash. Let's see how that and looks when you put it on me. Oh, I said I would model cool. here today, but I don't know whether the particular glasses will look good on me, oh. but that's what that... How flashy lovely. do I look? Lovely. Ready they to go boating? Ready to I don't have boating. a boat, but I'm ready for you to invite right. me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, we also have the, uh, the great Serengeti glasses. Serengeti, um, a lot of them are the glass photochromic, which means they get darker out in the sun, and these are oh. fo uh, Serengeti drivers. They're well known for their, their high definition uh, for driving vision and really, really comfortable uh, vision. Oh, interesting. So Let's try those on. Those will probably very, very look really dorky on me. I'm just going to say it because they don't even feel like they fit my nose, but you may have a face that they fit very well, that's right. of that's course. Right. And that's the big part of it, mm -hmm. too, is, is, you know, I may have an oval face, somebody else has square, round, and and we're here to we were just you. shopping before we started filming, too. And we're, oh, these are cute. These are perfect. These, so it's well, really fun. We have, we have the uh, right styles for anybody's face mm -hmm. at all. Another popular uh, uh, design or brand that we don't have uh, showing right here.
here, but we also carry the Wiley X. Okay. And then we have some designer sunglasses by Nine West, Kate Spade, and several others that are going to also be available um, for 20 to 50 percent off. Wow. On our sale. Wow. So, and prescription sunglasses will also be on sale during those three days. Okay. You can save 25 percent on your prescription sunglasses. And for prescription sunglasses, you could use almost any ophthalmic frame, oh, or you okay. can choose a sunglasses frame. More of a sunglass frame. Okay. Um, this one that I'm holding right here, Deb, is actually very, very special. This one also turns dark out in the sun. Yeah, because it's light it right now. M 3D. It turns darker out in the sun, and it's also designed to stay light enough that you could wear these at 3D movies. Oh. And they're very cool. They're sunglasses and 3D vision <laughs> I love it. all in one. So Who knew? I mean, like everything else, the I. Like Eyeglass world is keeping up with the times, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Those are okay. I'm looking at those. I look kind of, I look kind of glamour, like I old movie glamorous. Very, yeah. yeah. I think uh -huh. you look very glamorous. Yeah. I'm very complimenting glam. myself. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that is really a neat feature, though, too. So those are actually feature. those fit really well. How about for somebody who's out um, wearing a helmet? They're a bicyclist or. Um, skateboarder or somebody who's doing something that they're wearing a helmet. We need to stick with kind of the more snug ones, maybe like those more that I had on. More snug that had a little bit more of a straight temple. Okay. And they're a lot of really times we'll encourage people to bring their bike helmet in sure. or bring their whatever they're wearing and make sure that we do get a good fit. And we're really experts at making sure that they're comfortable. You want to look good, but you want to feel good too. Yep, exactly. So, really so it's really important to let them know the applications mm -hmm. that you're going Absolutely. to be using them for, your preferences, your lifestyle, and they're going to make it make sure it works for you. Those are some great deals on sunglasses. They 20 really to 50% are. off and all those different options that yep. you have here. So have make sure you stop down. 15th, 16th, and 17th. Did I get that right for the dates? Tuesday, okay. Wednesday, Thursday. For the sunglass sale. Mm -hmm. Now, one other thing that I noticed, and we alluded to the fact of where you are, and of course people drive by, Vision Source yes. is listed on, on your marketing, your branding right. out here. So tell us about that. Well, um, we started using the branding of Vision Source because it's getting more known um, th across the United States. Uh, Vision Source is a network of independent eye doctors, Deb, that have to be invited in to become part of the Vision Source network. Okay. And there are over um, 2,500 offices now in the United States and Canada that um, have been invited and have joined the Vision Source network. As a network of doctors, we're able to touch on expertise from all other doctors around the country. Nice. And so, for instance, if I have some, if you're moving to Seattle, I would recommend a Vision Source doctor there because Perfect. I know the quality, their premier practices. So we're branding now and using the Vision Source name as well as Horizon Eye Care. Okay, so you and others are operating at the very highest level of Absolutely. service as far as eye Absolutely. doctors are concerned. What a great thing to know, and it we is. do have people coming and going either from. Out of the area, into the area, and out. otherwise, and we Absolutely. want to make sure we check or into Vision traveling. Source. Exactly, and I need some help in, in another place. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on that, although you've been a part of it for some time, but yes. for the branding of it, we'll see Vision Source with Horizon Eye Care Professionals. Right. Phone number? 451-3072. And I think you're probably on the web, too? We are at eyecareowatana.com. Okay, lots of ways to come in. Make and sure we're on you... Facebook at Facebook. Of slash course you are. Care. Everybody is. <laughs> Everybody is. Where's my glasses? Where's my glam glasses to leave you with? Here we yes. go. Signing off for our Oatana Today Show viewers with show supporter. Thank you, Dr. Beth Gilbert, uh, Horizon Thank Eye you, Care Deb. Professionals. Thank you. Hi, this is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance, and we are proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. Mayo Clinic Health System in Oatana, in partnership with hy V. Oatana Hospital, Oatana Park and Rec, Youth First, and local businesses encourage you to join the 2012 On the Move Community Walking Program. The program will kick off on April 17th at 6 o'clock at Mineral Springs Park and runs through May 21st. Our goal is to walk around the globe with the final destination of London, England, the home of the 2012 Olympics. The program is simple. Simply call in your steps on Monday mornings at onthemove at mayo.edu. Track your steps throughout the weeks and we'll look forward to seeing you on May 21st at the celebration. Thank you. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson with the Otana Business Incubator. We're here to help small businesses start and to grow. We're a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. I didn't just want another job, I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. I was new to town and I didn't know where to turn for a job, so I decided to express myself. I decided to express myself and they helped find the right career for me. 
Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us out on location. This is one of our favorite times of the year to be at the Monterey Ballroom, and it is because we are honoring retiring teachers in our school district and also letting you know who the Teacher of the Year candidates are. We are here on May 9th at the Monterey Ballroom, and they're going to be having a social hour and a dinner and having these acknowledgments, so we want to let you get to know some of the retiring teachers um, that they're going to be hearing from here this evening. And we first start out with... Cherry Schwartz. Okay, Cherry, how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 33 years and 28 in this district. Okay, and where did you start out before that? Um, I taught in Plainview. Okay. In my first life, I was a home ec teacher. Okay. <laughs> and what have you been since that first life? I have taught English as a second language. Okay, and in, during all the years that you've been here, yes. pretty much? I've been in every building. Okay, every building in the school district. Well, that's really Correct. something. Not everyone can say that. Any particularly memorable moments or highlights that you can think of that have happened? It's 33 years, I know, so there's yeah. probably more than one. I think one of the funniest ones was when I was teaching a fifth grade class, Parts of the Body. And we had finished, and we Sounds were good already. Of, we were just <laughs> waiting, waiting kind of for the bell to ring. And one of the students was talking to a friend of his, and he said, Ow! I ate myself. Well, he meant I bit my lip, but he said I oh. ate myself. <laughs> okay, that kind of puts it in perspective, doesn't it? Well, that is nice, and we thank you so much for your many years and dedication to the students and the school district here, Cherry. What are you going to do in your retirement? I'm quilting, I'm spending time with the grandkids, I'm traveling, and I'm spending time outside. Good for you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you very, thank very you. much. And we have Karen Eichmann. Dr. Eichmann, how are you? I'm great, thank you. And how many years have you been teaching? You know, I've lost track. I yeah. saw him here. Yeah. I think it said 30-something, so 30 you're keeping... Something. Okay. You know, I was a stay-at-home mom, okay. and then I worked part-time, so by the time you add all those together, it's, it is really hard to figure out what the total is. It is. And most recently, where have you been teaching? Um, I've been at Washington these last 15 years. Okay. The last 15 years, and in, in a particular grade, or have you moved around among grades? Third grade recently, but I've taught uh, sixth grade, both at... Uh, Austin Middle School and here in Owatonna okay. at Willow Creek. Was teaching always something that you wanted to do, a passion of yours at all? No, it was not. I don't <laughs> always hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, um, I loved kids and I always uh, got hired a lot as a babysitter when mm -hmm. I was a child or young adult and I, I um, had fun with that, but it wasn't until I was in college that um, I just wanted to do something important. Okay. So I had all these grandiose dreams. Sure. And then in college, it kind of hit me like, whoa, teaching's the most important thing you can do. So You are very right, and I'm sure you've made an impact on a lot of lives. Any moments that stand out? All of them. All of them. I know. They're all wonderful, aren't they? Well, thank you for the impact you've had. What are you planning on doing now after you retire? Everything. And everything. <laughs> Too many memorable moments to count and plan on doing everything. Well, good luck with that. I'm thank sure you'll you. accomplish it. Thank you, Dr. Eichmann. <laughs> thank you. Okay. And who do we have here? Nancy Cannon. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm a little nervous about my speech later, but I'll manage to live through that. Yeah, of course. If you live through this, look at this is your preparation for your speech later, Nancy. How many years have you been in the school district? In Owatonna, 22. Okay. And, and before that? 36 years. Um, six years in early childhood family ed. Okay. And then I taught uh, eight years in New Prague. And all, all in art except for parenting classes and early childhood family. All in art, you said? Mm hmm yep. Okay. All right. And uh, that has to, that's a cre that gets the creative sides of the students going. Any particularly memorable moments there? That's not your run-of-the-mill sit-and-do homework, worksheets, and things no, like that. I have about 500 students a week. Oh. And so every week something funny happened. <laughs> and I just want, you know, I mean, have, like, all the OEA and all the teachers' children. So I just want them to know that I'll never reveal anything that their children tell me. Because <laughs> I hear everything. <laughs> I'm sure you do. It's like being the parent in the car, the driver, who is like, they think you're not hearing? What? Exactly. And you get a lot of those. What do you plan on, on doing in your retirement? Well, I just think I'm going to do a little bit of everything and bug my husband. And bug your husband. Is he retired already? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have fun bugging your husband and do nothing but enjoy yourself. And uh, thank you for your many years of service. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And we have? Nancy Lucina. I get two Nancys in a row. Yes, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Thank you. Good. And you have been teaching for how long, Nancy? I don't remember either. My first job, though, was in Ovid L.C., Michigan District okay. as a third grade teacher um, because the first teacher 
was 60 something, fell off a chair and broke her leg. Oh my. The second teacher was drafted, and I, with my secondary training, got to be a third grade teacher. Oh. <laughs> That's how that, that was the natural progression there, huh? Right. Okay. 30 children in the classroom okay. and two reading at uh, sixth grade level and one at a pre-primer. And that's the year I learned that class size matters. Yes, I bet it does. If one child was gone, I was a little more in control. If, if two were gone, I felt a little more, I mean, just classroom really? size really matters. It really makes a difference to you. And in most recently in the Owatonna School District, what have you been, where have you been located? I, in the last decade, have been focused ex pretty much exclusively on parent education. Okay. We have two licensed parent educators in our district, and before that I did um, teach a little bit at the high school. I was in the school psych department. Um, job sharing with somebody so I've been in all the buildings and oh, another one in all the buildings and I've said so that helped me though really as a parent educator to give parents the perspective of big picture don't just think about your three-year-old think about what do you want to see in your child at 18 very good things for all of us to remember well thank you so much for your years of service and best of luck and have a very very enjoyable retirement Nancy thank you you're welcome and we have Jane Voxland how are you Jane I'm good 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 and how many years have you been teaching 37 30 now you were one that has kept track okay yes. 37 years always yes. in Owatonna School District yes yes okay. yeah. well, good for you and have you moved around among buildings yes. and classes and class size I've grades? been I've been in all the buildings except the high school okay so yes I have been around are you mostly an elementary teacher then yes. Or? okay yes okay um, yeah I I'm a gifted and talented specialist okay um, so with that job I have gone to all the buildings but I also taught at Lincoln and um, Wilson so I've taught all grade levels. And okay. Anything that pops out in your head as being something maybe you didn't expect when you got into teaching or, or that, that mm -hmm. sticks out as being a memorable moment? Well, um, I didn't expect teaching to be so fun but yet really hard. I mean, it's really to keep track of everybody and where they are and what they're doing. That's, that's a real challenge, but the kids are fun and what they say is fun. And so, yeah, lots of memorable moments. Something new every day. What do you oh. plan on doing in your retirement? Well... Um, I don't know. I'm going to be open to opportunities and see what happens. Good so for you. I think I'll have fun. Well, whatever it is that opens itself up to you, you enjoy yourself and thank you for your many years of service. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Jane. And we have. Hi, Michelle Noble. How are you, Michelle? I'm great, thank good. you. You're good. And how many years have you been teaching? 23 years. 23 Not years. near as many years as all the others. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's time to retire. Um, yeah, but it's a very hard. It was a very, very hard decision. I um, uh, had to really give a lot of long, hard think thoughts to this, and um, Some just soul searching. And this yeah. was the right thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, who are you leaving behind? Where were you teaching? Um, I was teaching at Lincoln Elementary. Okay. Yeah, and I've taught at um, Wilson for many years, and I had the opportunity at McKinley and at Willow Creek, and I first started my career in Apple Valley. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. That That's came right. down a little, little out of the Twin Cities. Of course, that area has grown significantly oh. since then, I'm sure. Absolutely. 13 elementary schools when oh. I was up there. Wow. <laughs> They're much bigger help. now. Yeah. Did you always know that you wanted to be a teacher? Absolutely. Did you really? Oh, okay. it was always in my heart. I've always... As uh, redundant as this might sound, I've always loved children, and working with um, families and children has always been my um, aspiration. So, so loving of We love to hear from our teachers, that's for sure. Yeah. And plans for retirement? Um, well, my husband and I are going to spend a little more time together. I'm going to be out there helping him at Noble RV okay. and also enjoying my college-age children and helping them through their years and planning a wedding. Oh, well, I, you're not going to be busy at all. What no. the heck? <laughs> well, you enjoy Aww. yourself. Enjoy your time at the business and with the wedding and all the family get things going on. And thank you for your many years of service as well. Oh, thank you so much. You're, it's been wonderful. You're welcome. What a great group of individuals. Oh, wait, you were sitting down on a chair. I didn't mean to miss you. <laughs> she ran up quickly. And who do I have? Sandy Friedland. I'm sorry, Sandy. I didn't want to forget you. I thought we were all wrapping up. How many years have you been teaching, Sandy? 41.57. Ooh, you're the record holder I'm here, I think. Even those that couldn't quite keep track uh -huh. or had other things, I don't. Th I think they were in the 30s there, weren't they? So good for you. And did you start out here in Owatonna? I did not. I moved here from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I taught there for 28 years before oh, I moved here. Okay. And what have so you been most recently teaching McKinley, here in? McKinley, fourth okay. graders at McKinley the whole 
12 years. Well, 12 they're years. a nice rambunctious yes. bunch, I yes. think, in fourth grade and inquisitive and ready to learn. Absolutely. Okay. Very creative. Well, it sounds like yes. teaching has been a passion, and it has it always been a lifelong it goal of yours? Been. Yes. And I've totally enjoyed it. And I had a hard time making this decision myself. Did so, you really, yes, too? Even yes. after all these years? Yes, I have. Will you be able to, you'll be able to keep your hand in it. There's all sorts of opportunities for those of us that oh, want to yes, be there, absolutely. reading to kids, grandparents in education, yes. all those types of things. So I'm yeah. sure we'll probably mm -hmm. see you around. Could be. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do you plan to do in your retirement gonna, other than that? I'm going to travel, actually. Good for so you. So I'll go back to Albuquerque. My grandchildren are there. So oh, Very yeah. nice. Well, and I'll be back here, too. Of course you so, will. Yes, okay. Sure. Well, thank you so much for your years of service and uh, and best of luck in your retirement and with all that said and done sorry there I almost thought I had six rather than seven we want to acknowledge who the teacher of the year candidates are Steve Benson James Kiefer Scott know Wendy Stepani and Doug Wanyas are all up for teacher of the year we will have that person who eventually receives that award for you on another interview at another time and thank you so much for joining us here at the retirement and teacher of the year banquet for the Owatonna Education Association at the Monterey Ballroom Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty with the Sterling House Assisted Living, a part of Brookdale Senior Living. Our mission is to enrich the lives of those we serve with compassion, respect, excellence, and integrity. We are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Welcome back, and it is time to wrap up our program here on this Monday, May 14th, with a reminder that Steele County Safety Council has their next meeting this Wednesday, May 16th. They will have a company tour of modern metal products. So they will start with a lunch buffet at the Elks, as usual. That will be at 11.30. Then you will head to Modern Metal Products. Sean Pfeiffer will give an overview of their company, what they manufacture, a bit of their history, and how safety plays a big role in their company. So please call Kevin Dilmuth, uh, SCSC president, at 475-2185 for more information. And uh, um, that's for the Steel County Safety Council. Community Blood Drive for Red Cross will be at St. Joseph's Church this week. Wednesday hours are noon to 6, Thursday the 17th, noon to 6, and Friday, May 18th from 8 to 1. Please call an 800 number, 800-733-2767 to make an appointment. That's 800-733-2767 to make an appointment. I think you can probably also get a hold of local Red Cross number too, and they'll at least funnel you the right way. Or um, certainly they do take walk-ins, although appointments are definitely appreciated for them to do a little bit of planning. Catholic Daughters Court 1180 meeting will be held at 6.30 um, Monday, May 21st. That's next Monday at St. Joseph Parish Center. May crowning will be held, followed by the rosary. Please bring your own flower. 50 and 25-year members will be recognized. If you need a ride or if you'd like more information, call Rita Goodnature at 444-4146 or Ramona Wesley at 451-5047. So just a few things that are coming up this week. On Wednesday's program, please join us. We'll have Owatonna Public Utilities and out on location with Abraham Consulting Technologies. We'll see you then. Have a great day.